Hi guys, it's Laura from Doggy U, and we just made it to Salt Lake City, Utah. And I have never been here before. Check out these mountains. All right, well, you can't see them that well from here. <laughs> but believe me, they're spectacular. Um, and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you about the hiking pole that I use when I'm going out in new locations where I don't know what I'm going to encounter as far as wildlife, or people, or just to help me feel more safe since we're in a new location every day. Uh, it's called the hike and strike and it's not your normal uh, hiking pole. It's not only a hiking pole but also a stun gun. Let's check it out. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps other people find this channel. Thanks! So let's preface this by saying, make sure that owning a sun gun is legal where you live. I don't know where you live, so uh, look that up before you purchase one. Uh, all right, now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let's talk about why you might wanna carry a hiking stick uh, to begin with um, when you're out hiking in a new area with your dog. Uh, hiking sticks are useful not only for hiking, but also for um, you know being able to defend yourself. I think that's kind of self-explanatory and defending yourself is taken quite to the next level by having a stun gun on the end of the stick. It also gives you a little bit of distance if you need it. And while I was in New York placing uh, a dog, I went out hiking with my dog on a path that I had hiked on multiple times uh, during my stay. And while I was leaving that trail, I was attacked by three dogs in a parking lot. Uh, I threw whip in the car because I was close enough for that, um, but I couldn't get myself in before the dog grabbed my pant leg and I pulled my taser on the dog and, sorry, stun gun. I pulled my stun gun on the dog uh, and all I had to do was light up the stun gun and the dog ran off and only my pants <laughs> were injured. So um, I have had to use this <laughs> in real life. It was really scary, but I'm super grateful that I had it and I'd rather have something when I need it to carry around, um, then get myself in a situation where, um, you know, I wish I had it. So hiking stick was really easy to acquire. I just bought it off of Amazon. I think Cabela sells it as well. I will put a link in the description uh, so that you can find it there. But I think for the rest of this little uh, video, I will stand still and show you the hiking stick and the features that it has so that you can decide if this is something that you might want to add to your own, um, you know, hiking equipment, depending on where you're hiking. Uh, but first, I just want to show you my dog setup so you can see how I'm able to walk my dog with my hands totally free so that I can actually use a hiking stick. So it's probably also worth it to show you how I hike um, with my hands free so that I can have one hand available <laughs> to film in this case and the other one available to actually hold the hiking stick. So you can see that Whip is on a harness back clipped to a biothane leash. I love biothane. I'll link this down below. It's a pretty thin line because she doesn't pull. Uh, she just kind of hangs out in front there and then that's attached to my belt buckle. I'll get a better shot of this so that you can see. Uh, but it's a stretchy belt by Arcade, good girl, uh, that we use for um, our treat pouch. Hey, good morning. And um, we can actually just loop the leash right around it. It's stretchy, so it gives you a little bit of bungee um, and it makes it easy to hike with her without having to worry about my hands and anything like that. So I really like that system. You can buy just like a stretchy leash, but why would you do that when I already have this stuff? So it's free to use it this way. Anyways, I'll link a stretchy leash down below that I use for running that you might find helpful. But seriously, like, what? <laughs> So now I'm going to give you an overview of the product so you know the specs and you understand what you're purchasing. So this is a Zap Hike and Strike Hiking Staff. I retain the packaging so that you can check it out. Uh, it's 950,000 volts and the uh, light on the top of it, the flashlight, is 114 lumens. Its clothesline is 29 inches and extends to 56 inches. 
So let me show you that flashlight first. I love this little feature on it. So right at the top of your hiking stick, there's a button on the back. You just press that and boom. Now you've got a really nice flashlight that you can use if it starts getting dark when you're out in the woods. Very cool. Uh, this hiking stick can also be extended. So you're gonna twist it, pull out to your desired length, and then twist it back in. I haven't had any issues with it coming untwisted while I'm using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it back down a little bit so it's easy to show you. It also comes with this piece of reflective, uh, reflective tape on it that's Velcroed on, really nice little feature. And there's different tips. There's a snow tip, and then there's this tip for if you were just say walking on pavement, and then you can also take that off and have um, the little pointy one for actual hiking. So now on to the part that you're probably curious about, which is how the actual stun device works. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop the top off. So it comes with this little top here that just covers uh, the little nodes at the top. You just pop that off. And then down here on the black part, so if you had this extended, this would kind of be halfway up your, your hiking stick here. There is a button with a red light. When the red light is on, it's activated. And then you're gonna press the button on the other side to actually uh, make the device do the stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So turn down your volume if you don't like the sound because it is going to be loud. So I have my light on, I point it at the thing and... Obviously that's pretty scary for any type of predator um, that you're going to come in contact with. Like I said before, um, I had been attacked by a dog in New York and no need to actually touch the animal with the stun device, just lighting it up as in making that sound, making it look scary, was enough to scare off um, the dog that was a problem for me. So I, I believe that in instances of wildlife as well, which is one of the main reasons that I carry this, that I, this would be at least a good deterrent for things like coyotes um, if they come near. So obviously, definitely can be a little bit scary. The good news is you don't have to worry about accidentally hitting it. Um, so you first have to engage it, turn it on, make sure the red button's on before you ever press the button. So it's not like you're gonna be hiking along and you randomly press it. It's also located in a way where the, um, where the button is so far down, it's not like you're holding that portion. When you're holding the stick, you're holding it here. So again, no risk of pressing that button. The only button that's up on the top here is the flashlight button. So when you're not using it, you just go ahead and cover it back up with this top rubbery piece. You do have to be a little careful about the rubbery piece because it does, uh, it will occasionally pop off if you pull it against something, say you're pulling it out of your car. Also comes with a little strap, keep it on your wrist. And it's definitely heavier than your typical hiking pole because you do have this battery portion here that definitely uh, has some heft to it, but it's not uncomfortable to be hiking with. So this is my one of my favorite things. I've been using it now when I go hiking, especially when I go hiking alone for about six months or so. And it's definitely one of the tools that I keep uh, in my car at all times, especially when I'm traveling. So if you have any questions about the Zap Hike and Strike, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to give you any information I have from my firsthand experience using this product. I really enjoy the safety and the peace of mind that bringing this along with me on hikes, especially when I'm alone with my dog, that this piece of equipment provides. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, as well as check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash doggyu, where we do a monthly Q&A answering your questions about how to train with your dog, travel with your dog, and hike with your dog. All sorts of fun stuff, dog related, and you can get your questions answered over on Patreon. All right, everyone, you have an awesome day and happy training. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Subscribe now and never miss an episode. All right, I'm taking this